Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorial Test Prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number 12 on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT math. Function translations. Let's get started. So before we look at the Desmos, let's do a quick overview on what a function translation is. So a function translation is when you move a function in the four cardinal directions, like the ones that are on a compass, north, south, east, west, without changing anything else about the function. So you can move it up, you can move it down, you can move it left, you can move it right, or you can move it any combination of up, down, and left, right. So let's say you could move it, you could move it up and to the right, or you could move it down and to the left, any combination like that, kind of like an L-shaped pattern. So you want to know this general expression that sums up a function translation using function notation. So we can take a function f of x and we can translate it using the expression f of x minus h plus k. So h is your left right. So when h is positive, that means you're moving it to the right. When h is negative, that means you're moving it to the left. When k is positive, that means you're moving it up. When k is negative, that means you're moving it down. Notice how there is a positive sign in front of the k. So you don't need to change the sign of k when you write this expression. But there is a negative sign in front of the h. So you do need to change the sign of h when you write this expression, just like you would in vertex form or in the equation of a circle. So you see in this example, we have f of x minus 3 plus 2. So h is positive 3. So that means we're moving the function 3 right. k is positive 2. That means we're moving the function 2 up. So always remember, f of x minus h plus k. h tells you you're left right. k tells you you're up down. So let's go over some questions and see how we can use Desmos to do at least most of the work on these types of questions for us. OK, question one. So I'm first going to type in f of x equals 4x squared plus 64x plus 262. So that is my f of x. And now the question tells me g of x equals f of x plus 5. OK, so I'm going to type that into my second line on Desmos. Great. And f of x plus 5, that would tell me h is, OK, i got to change the sign for h. So it's negative 5. So that means I'm moving 5 left. And if you look, you see the blue one, it got moved 5 to the left. You didn't need to know that for that question, this question, but just so you can see the concepts are, are coming up. OK, so the question says, um, for what value of x does g of x reach its minimum? So I actually went over this in one of the previous Desmos videos. Um, we only care about g of x, so let's unhighlight f of x. And we can highlight the vertex, the minimum. And it says, what value of x does it reach its minimum? And you can see it reaches that minimum at negative 13. So the answer for this one is a. So you didn't even need to do anything with the function translation or anything like that. You didn't need to figure out that it was moving 5 left. You could have just completely done this one using Desmos. Very helpful. OK, so the answer to that one is a. Let's move on to question 2. OK, so pause this video and see if you can solve it now that you have some idea of what to do. OK, once again, I'm going to type in uh, my f of x. So x plus 6, x plus 5, and x plus 1. And now I'm going to type in g of x. And we only care about g of x, so why don't we go ahead and unhighlight f of x so it doesn't distract us at all. And it wants to know the x-intercepts 
of g of x. So um, let's let's click on those. So negative five, negative four, and zero. Okay, now it wants us to find a plus b plus c, where a, b, and c are the constants which represent the x coordinates of the x intercepts. So we're just going to type in negative five plus negative four plus zero. And you see we get negative nine, which is answer choice B. All right, very good. Let's do one more question. OK, so for question three, there's no multiple choice for this one. And we have to be a little bit, we do a little bit more legwork on this one. It says it doesn't give you the function notation. It says y equals f of x, translating y equals f of x up by four units. OK, so remember, guys, f of x minus h plus k. So we're not moving left or right at all. So h is 0, so we can cross them out. Up four units, that means k is positive 4. So k is going to be positive 4, and our expression for g of x is going to be f of x plus 4, like that. So now that we figured that out, now we can use Desmos uh, to do the rest of the question. So f of x equals x minus 6, x minus 2, x plus 6. And g of x equals f of x plus 4. Based on what we came up with, they told us it was translating up 4 units. And this one, we don't really care about the graph. We just want to find g of 0. So remember, we can evaluate functions just by typing in the function notation now that we have g of x typed in. So g of 0 is equal to 76. And the answer is 76. So you see. Even if you have to do a little bit of the legwork, this can still be very helpful because once you figure out what the translation looks like using the function notation, you can just type it in. So even for a harder one, this can still be helpful. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SET math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by, and good luck studying.